What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. We have some updated news by the Dallas Morning News on the Dak Prescott uh, extortion claims, um, allegations, and so forth. Um, Dak Prescott, two days ago, um, ended up filing a lawsuit against an individual that has basically tried to extort a hundred million dollars allegedly so we don't have all the facts and the details and things and this is one of those ones that we need to let the legal system play out and figure out what's what and who's who now to acerbate this uh 105 the fan actually had the attorney for the person who is looking to sue Dak Prescott excuse me extort I'm not suing because he's not they're not suing they basically sent a demand letter for a hundred million dollars about an incident that happened in 2017 so the police are now involved now here's here's where it's interesting so the police were contacted by Dak Prescott's attorney last week Prosper police are investigating claims that the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott, says he is being extorted, an official confirmed Wednesday to the Dallas Morning News. Prescott filed a lawsuit Monday in Collin County accusing a Fort Worth woman of making a false sexual assault allegation in an attempt to extort $100 million from him. Prescott, who den denied the allegation, lives in Prosper. An attorney representing Prescott met with Prosper Police last week and explained it to Prosper's Police Department officials that his client was possibly a victim of theft by coercion. A town of Pro I don't know exactly what that means, but you get the gist of it. A town of Prosper spokesperson told the news the department declined to release any additional details, citing the matter as being in the preliminary stages of and considered an active investigation. The quarterback's attorney, Levi McLaren, uh, told the, the news that the, innocent, the incident was uh, consensual but declined to offer any further details. Prescott's attorney met with Prosser's police four days before the lawsuit was filed, the spokesman said. The alleged assault occurred on or about February 2nd in 2017 in Plano, according to court documents. Um, it is unclear whether Plano police have opened an investigation into the alleged assault. The woman's attorney, um, Yal, I can't pronounce the last name, starts with a Z, said during a Tuesday interview on 105 The Fan that uh, Prescott raped his client and that a civil lawsuit is very intimate, intimate, intimate as in it's going to happen soon. He also said his client has ruled out the possibility of filing criminal charges. Um, the Dallas Morning News does not typically name victims of sexual assault. Officials with the NFL and the Cowboys both declined any comment in the matter earlier this week. And that's where we are with all of this right now. So, um, the criminal statute of limitations in Texas for sexual crimes against adults vary depending on the severity of the offense. State law sets the statute of limitations to adults at 10 years and the civil statute of 5 years. So there you have it. So there you go. We'll see what happens here. If anything, what I will say is let's let the law figure this out. Let's wait till finding out the real facts of what we have in here until it's all said and done. But I will say that Dak Prescott and his attorneys were proactive in responding to this um, by going to the police and saying, here we have, they're trying to get us, you know, a hundred million dollars, a hundred million dollars, and then filing their lawsuit. So they've been crossing the, the, the T's and dotting the I's and this thing and letting the attorneys go through here as opposed to the victim's attorneys trying to play in court of public opinion and saying that these things are going to be filed. You have to wait and see how this all shakes out. But it's interesting that all this comes out, and being on 105 The Fan, um, while the Cowboys are trying to negotiate a contract. Just saying. Just saying. All right, good people. 
Uh, we'll be live streaming at 3.30 to bring in the NFL New Year. Yeah. So there's that. Peace.